They did a great job with putting all the plants in here. Whoops. A bicycle. Good afternoon. I'm back at the Klong Ong An. And the reason is because last time we only saw it in the evening. And I wanted to show how it looks in the shimmer time. And there is a feature that we didn't see last time, which is the kayak rental. So I hope you enjoy this walk. I'm gonna walk until the river. Yeah, so we made this video about two weeks ago in the evening and it was very busy with a lot of shops and a lot of people selling things but if you come here in the day as you can see it's a lot more quiet so i wanted to show the two faces of this clong yeah the video that we made last time it was actually quite crazy it uh, it ended up having about 135,000 views so obviously we were very happy with that. Yeah, so here you have the kayak rental. I saw a few people with the kayak coming by already. And there's the superhero shop that I will go and visit one time as well, but not today. So last time also we missed all the murals here. and they were actually making this art alley yeah a lot of very nice initiatives going on in this area this is all fluorescent so in the night it's probably gonna light up and I see already that they have the dark lights down here. So at the moment I'm missing the spectacular part. Yeah, so this clong goes all the way to the river where it actually connects directly with the sky park. And last week I made a video of the sky park, which is a bridge that goes over the Chao Praia River. So now it's around 4.50. So the sun is setting, but everything is very nice. I mean, you can see everything perfectly. It's not that hot. So it's perfect to go for a little walk. Yeah, as you can see, a lot of art work here on the wall. And also at night, this is the area, or this is the part where there is not too many shops. Also a big difference is that it's Thursday now. So I don't know how much effect that has on how busy it will be in the evening. I see a lot of uh, mural art here all local scenes from Thai life so they have <laughs> Street Fighter! Yeah, it's funny to see it now in the daytime because it does give a very different atmosphere. 
but still really nice and in my last video I noticed a lot of people had comments like oh it must smell really bad but it really doesn't I mean it smells very nice they really cleaned up the whole thing uh, there was basically a wild grow of houses and shops over the canal and the town hall decided to cut that all down and just clean it up and bring the canal back in its old state and with that create a new tourist attraction There are some busy streets that you have to cross. Yeah, also in the day it just has a very nice and relaxed atmosphere. So last time I did not notice these flower things here. Unfortunately I'm not able to read Thai so I don't know what it says there but uh, maybe one of our, follow our followers can give us an update. Mr. Judd? This one's for you. Yeah, the really nice houses really come out. by opening this klong in the way that they did it now you can really see the beauty of all the constructions here now so the little market is starting already and you to the left there is a Whole Market Street. Here is another Alex face painting. And uh, I actually just uploaded a video about Seacon Square where there was a statue of Alex face but this is the baby dressed in the rabbit with the third eye I mean the third eye is a little bit hidden away but Yeah, I'm gonna stay on this side of the of the canal because last time I filmed the other side. So all the original shops are still here. They did a great job with putting all the plants in here. Oops. A bicycle. <laughs> Normally I would be crossing through here. And Christmas also arrived here. So this is the Klong Ong Ang Christmas tree.
Wow, also in the day, this is just beautiful. Yeah, and just as a reference, the last video that we made, I ended it here at the AMA or the AMA hostel. And there is this very nice alleyway with lanterns. I'm gonna move on towards the river. Save the climate. Good one. Nice dog. And this was quite funny because I, I just didn't realize it until when I made a video last time. We turned around here and then the next day I went to have a look at the sky park and when I was at the sky park I noticed a very nice klong and I was like wow this is cool and I really only when I checked the map later I realized that it was the same klong that we visited the evening before so I'm just gonna walk there and then I'm gonna finish this update. Nice and relaxed area. You know, no cars coming through here, only on the bridges that you have to cross. So that's the only point where you have to be careful a little bit. But for the rest, relaxing all the way. And the perfect thing is you can combine it with the sky park. So yeah, you can take the MRT to the Samyot station and from there you can walk. I mean, if I just think about it, the perfect trip would be you walk around 5 o'clock around this time. You walk along the Klong here, you go to the sky park, you catch a sunset. And then after you enjoy the nice sunset, you walk back and i think by that time the market might have started and then you can enjoy a nice market Rikab. Yes. <laughs> you like or no? <laughs> I love this market. Very beautiful. Chop magma. Every day. Every day, no? Klong Ong Ang. Very good. Yeah, so this is the entrance to the sky park. And it was just that little piece that was missing in what I walked last time.
Okay. So I hope you enjoyed this update about, let's call it the second part of the Klong Ong Ang. And if you did, feel free to subscribe and see you guys in my next video.